plug with this in. So I've got, a, I've got a job for us. For us? For us, okay. you and me. Yes. Because you, you and I are always looking for extra work. We're always looking okay. for extra work together. Yes, we are. They're saying, and this happened while I was in France, so I don't know, um, but you were in the cab, so maybe you know. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. I was They're watching. saying that Steven Tyler and Jennifer Lopez both announced that they are leaving American Idol. Yes, I did read about this, yes. It is not. Oh. I know. I feel the same way. I felt like they added a certain sparkle to the show, and I love the chemistry of the three. What, musicianship? Of, of Randy and J-Lo and yes. Steven Tyler. Yes. I just liked all the hair, the hair feathers. Yes, the they both, I they both did. They liked it? They were both pretty fierce. I liked, like, the leering Steven Tyler when he would look at the girls on stage and then say things to their dads that was inappropriate. I just loved it. <laughs> Um, I loved when Jennifer Lopez would let people down gently by saying, baby, it's not today, baby, it's not today. Tomorrow? But I feel like you and I could be the new judges because which, you are a singer. Which one? That's true. I like this. And you are a professional and I am yes. flouncy hair. And we... They will hardly notice anything changed. That's right. And, and and they won't even have to change the hair and makeup people. I mean, we'll just, I mean, it takes a village, obviously. Uh, and uh, which one, will, will I be the searing uh, inappropriate uh, one and you'll be the, it ain't today, baby, girl. You, you, we have to, you, maybe you can do your English French of, accent. I thought of me as being the leering inappropriate one. Oh, all right. I thought we would mix it up a little so people wouldn't get confused and think it was still Steven and J-Lo. Oh, okay. We want them to notice a difference. So I'll be the leering one. And you can be the, it's not today, baby. It's not today, baby. <laughs> but we have stiff competition because they're saying that today, Aretha baby. Franklin has tossed her hat oh, into the wouldn't ring you know it? Every to be time. a judge. I think she'd be... Uh, has she ever, has she ever co-hosted with you, though? She has not co-hosted okay. with me. All right. Um, but Kelly I feel Aretha like, I feel like this it. audience is more on Aretha's side than our side for this game. I don't well, know. she is... She is the queen. This is like. A I'm just odd kidding. She's today. the queen of soul. I want you to know she would make a much better judge than certainly I would. But you're an expert. No, I, I, well, I mean, I, Aretha, Aretha would be great. I'm, I'm a little surprised. I mean, I'm the, one of the biggest Aretha Franklin fran fans. I'm surprised she, she wants to do this. But, but I, 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 I guess she'd have fun doing it. She loves mentoring young people. She loves. You know, she's very, very knowledgeable about the pop music world, so maybe it'd be she's fun. She's an incredible performer. She, she is the she really she is. is the queen of soul. I mean, that is undisputed. And I would listen to anything she told me about anything. Like, if she told me how to paint a house, I would listen to her. <laughs> because you know she'd be like, paint that house! Yes! <laughs> I, don't, I got nothing. That was amazing. That actually, we've we've we've, we've talked. I about just your, exhausted myself. We've talked about your singing voice in the past, and and you've always been very self-deprecating about it. But n you no, no more. No that more. Was, that was incredible. Yeah. Yes. So we had um last week. Last weekend was makeover. Um, we had makeovers, I, incredible yes, date night makeovers, yes. and we have a, a letter from our last date night makeover, Mary Beth and Dave Shelton. Kelly, we are still reeling from our whirlwind. I don't think we even realized ourselves just how much we needed that time together. Um, the dinner cruise was absolutely the most amazing and wow. romantic night ever. Oh. Thank you all so much, Mary Beth and Dave Shelton. Um, she was so glamorous and gorgeous. He, I swear, I, I think they all made babies. Mm -hmm. I really do. <laughs> I, I, some of them, I wasn't sure they were going to get off the stage <laughs> without making a baby. Conceived right here. Right on here on our stage. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. With the dog watching and everything, that's just... We turned the dog around. Tur you turned the, turned the fake dog around. And uh, they sent us a little video here. Oh, good. Guys, we had a wonderful, wonderful time. Thank you so much for everything. We're retiring for the evening. What I say. We all know what's happening there. And when he pointed down, I was like, what's he going to show us? <laughs> got nervous. I got a little nervous, I was too. like, who edited this? Did we look at it first? 
<laughs> Amazing if it pans down, it's just a big blurry spot. Right, exactly. <laughs> Censored. Yeah. Pointing to the well, do not disturb that's, that's, sign. Uh, he looks exhausted. I hope they've had a wonderful time. Yeah, I think he did, yeah. as a matter of fact. Uh, oh. What do you got there? Oh, this is, um, you know, Canada has a new currency, uh, apparently, and apparently uh, it can't take the heat. Although they say that they have tested, there's this new polyfiber kind of bill that they've come out with, and they say, well, it's, it, can, it can be, you know, scorched up to 150 degrees Celsius, but uh, apparently people are saying that the bills are melting together in the sun. <laughs> and, is that true? And they, they're like, just leaving them out, and, and yeah, uh, and, and hundreds are becoming $200 or becoming $100, and just kind of, you know, yeah, so. Uh, wow. I, I'd like to test this theory. If anybody is uh, any watching can, in Canada. Are, are there Canadians here? Any can yes, right here. How Man, are you doing may we have your $100 bill? You? <laughs> you don't have any $100 bills? Well, what kind of bills do you have? We will take whatever money you have. We just want to... <laughs> We just want to burn money. Just, we just want to see just if we can set your money, money on, on fire. fire. Yeah, absolutely. Because you, you, there's lights everywhere. Just hold it up and just, you know, like I used to do with the thermometer before Well, school. they would never survive in our house because I, you know what I do now? I find um, whatever money I find in my 15-year-old's uh, pants pockets in the washing machine, when I take the dry, I keep it. And that's how we're learning about being responsible with money. It is now my money because it was rolling around in my dryer. <laughs> from the clothes that I washed. You're laundering money. <laughs> yes, I am laundering yeah. money. Um, we have a huge show today. Kristen Davis is here. She's joined the cast. Now's the best man. Oh, <laughs> and who's in this wonderful play, uh, Gore oh Vidal's The Best Man, which mm -hmm. I saw uh, this last week. Yep. It's, it's really, really wonderful. And uh, in just a moment, we will meet uh, the five Coast to Coast co-host search finalists, and later they will compete in their first challenge to become Kelly's co-host for the day. I love that we're making them compete, you know? Yeah. It's like, I feel like I owe them something, not the other way around, but it will be fun watching them compete. <laughs> we're gonna get to know them. So gonna, is it gonna be like uh, violent competition? Because I enjoy... Cage fight? Hopefully not too violent. I no. love violent competition. Blood sports. Should be proving whether they're good or not. Okay, yeah. I, yeah. I hear murmuring, I hear murmuring. Yeah. and I hear balls being rattled around, so it must be time for okay. Surf's Up Summer Trivia. Oh. <laughs> Still there, oh say. That hey, was a close one. Believe that it or not, our trivia dancer today is Jackie Michelson from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, who is a fifth grade teacher. <laughs> Jackie. I bet you're a real distraction for some of those boys <laughs> in your class. I hope not. I bet you are. <laughs> Thank I you. I'm not. just saying. <laughs> uh, man, I hated fifth grade. That, uh, that would have made it that easier. That would have changed things. That yes, I know. Um, on the phone today is Diana Kaminsky from Palm Coast, Florida. Hey, Diana. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I, I'm surprised that I got called. I'm so excited. Oh, well, we were, we were surprised we called you, too. <laughs> <laughs> random, random dial. Have yeah. you been entering for a long time? Uh, yeah, it's been quite a while. Oh, good. Okay, well, I, I understand that your husband's birthday is coming up, so this would be a nice uh, uh, pre present for him. Yeah, it sure would. I hope that you don't win the prize to Florida, because that would be a bummer. <laughs> yeah, that would be, but... You know a what I mean? Vacation's a vacation. That's true. Uh, you know, it's very true, very true. Okay, we're gonna spin the ball and see what you're playing for. <laughs> Great prize, great birthday present, the Aruba Marriott Resort and Stellaris Casino. Seven days and six nights. It includes breakfast and lunch daily. Round trip airfare, uh, courtesy of Orbit. It's a prize valued at $6,500. You have 20 seconds and only one guess. Good luck. Okay, Diana. On Friday's show, Seth Meyers and Kelly talked with Ray Romano. 
Name one of the two celebrities Ray mentioned he sold a futon to. Okay, it was either Robert De Niro or Cher. Oh, yeah. There you go. Congratulations, you and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Aruba Marriott Resort and Stellaris Casino, situated on the white sand beaches of Palm Beach. Aruba. All right, Diana, congratulations. Thank you so much. We yep. went there 20 years on our honeymoon. Oh, oh my gosh. And oh, that's so wonderful. Great. To celebrate his birthday, it'll be awesome. Diana, oh. are, are you and your husband in a band? Yeah, well, we perform. You yeah, perform he's for a, people. A singer and a guitar player, and I play. I do background. For That's him adorable. Oh my gosh, That's maybe wonderful. you can get a job in Aruba. In Aruba, please. <laughs> there you go. All right, now you get to help make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a five hundred dollar gift certificate from Omaha Steaks. So please pick a number between one and two hundred and sixteen. Sixty-nine. That's how old my husband's gonna be. Sixty-nine. Sixty-nine. finalists to continue on in our Coast to Coast co-host search for the chance to co-host with me on Tuesday of next week. So let's meet your top five. Mikey K from New York, New York. Oh. Oh. Try this again. Mikey K from New York, New York. Nice. Rory Kramer from North Hollywood, California. Marquette Smith from Washington, D.C. Michael Buckley from Meriden, Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> Every day they will compete in a different challenge, and one by one, they will be eliminated until we crown our winner of our Coast to Coast co-host search. Today's challenge is called The Gift of Gab. America needs to get to know you and fall in love with you, and first impressions make lasting impressions. Yes. So each of you will get 60 seconds to convince all of us why you are the right person to co-host with me for a day. Besides your winning personalities, the only other prop permitted in today's challenge is your life-sized Kelly cutout. <laughs> Be creative. Uh-oh. <laughs> Be <laughs> creative, but not in that not way. Not too creative. <laughs> uh, your place in this competition is on the line, so we will see you later in the show. Right. Oh, my God. Still ahead on live, you won't want to miss it when our finalists compete in the first Coast to Coast co-host competition. We'll open up Kelly's inbox to hear your comments and questions. And coming up next, Kristen Davis.